So we're London Sneaker School and we make shoes. So we have a small factory in Hackney in London. Started about four years ago. And we basically make bespoke custom Nikes, Jordan 1s, Dunk SBs, Air Max 1s. And then yeah, we're gonna make Carrick Lamptees. Jean Pedro and Billy Gilmore, a pair, a one of one piece. Are there any like brands or, or designers that you rate right now? I like the off-whites. I'm mostly at UJK. Me and Louis V. I have a flick through these. I'll be honest, these are most of our, our louder levers. Remember summertime as well, holiday shoe. Jow? Tex? Nah, come on. Orange, <laughs> Orange for Jow. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Seen one that I think I know what I'll go for. It's a little bit loud. This one. So good. I think I might go for a mix, you know, of the blue and this one. The, the snake. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snake yeah. You pick these colours. Do you want us to go loud or like subtle? I'll go loud. That like subtle. Me too. Okay, cool. That'll yeah. be the one out. Yeah. Like something like that, I would like. Yeah, this is loud. Even though it's kind of like browns, we're going to notice actually. But I think it's a subtle loud. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. We did a pop up on Savile Row for like three months, and each piece of this material represents one of the tailors on Savile Row. So it's an off cut. So this is a Travis Scott, which we're going to be making for you guys. This pair is made out of Shell Cordovan, which is a material you wouldn't usually find in a, in a trainer. But that's, that's really what we do. We have the opportunity to make the shoe out of whatever we want. What role do you, uh, do you think footballers play in shaping fashion and, and culture? And, and are you interested in that as well? Everyone's different, do you know what I mean? Mm. You should be able to be comfortable to wear like, whatever you want to be wearing. Yeah. Like, as long as you think it looks nice and you're happy in it, then. I think that's what matters the most, to be honest. You've got children and kids look up to football players and you always want to be your idol, so whatever they dress like or their haircut or what football boots, you're just going to copy, so like they, sent, like they set the trend. Yeah, I think football represents like the fans, so if we change the hair or use a nice track suit, of course the fans will try to do the same like us. This is good, but it's dangerous also. Does that, does that influence you have? Does it, does it change how you think about how you might get dressed or what shoe you might wear or what haircut you might get? Or does it not play into it too much? Maybe you have to think a little bit about what you can post and what can't post. Ah, this is for sure. You know the position that you're in um, and you know like what effect it could have on people. I think you just have to encourage people to make sure that if they're wearing something that they feel is right for them, then it's okay. So like, when you signed your first pro contract, um, what was like your first piece of clothing? Like you say, you bought, like you was wait, waiting to have that piece of um, funds. Remember the bait jackets, and you can zip it right up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After yeah. the, the eyes. Yeah. I was buzzing off that. I wore it everywhere. Do you still wear it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Louis V trainer. And the sliders, also Louis V. Uh, wash bag. Yeah, everything Louis V. I'm not sure, you know. I can't remember the first thing that I, I don't think it was straight on, on clothes. Mm. I'm not sure. I think that was a bit later. Mm. Straight car. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ish, and I'm a shoemaker at London Sneaker School. Hi, I'm Jace. I'm creative director and founder of London Sneaker School. When we're thinking about design here at London Sneaker School, what's important for me is that what carries through in the design is quite a, a clear, I call it a symbol, just like the, the message that we're trying to put across. With Tarek Lamptey's based on, on his interview that we had, he's quite a clean cut guy. We went with the leather that he, that he wanted, but you know, we want, we want to bring a bit of character into it. So we researched his Instagram. You know, he's, he's quite proud to be Ghanaian. So we worked a bit of Kente fabric into the insole. We might even put the, the black star on the, on the hill tab. It's some things we're, we're playing around with, with the Billy Gilmore design. It's kind of embarrassed to say that his, his first uh, big purchase was a, was a bait hoodie. Doesn't wear it anymore, but we're going to take that as inspiration, like the, the, the split down the middle. We're going to do that with fabrics, and then one side we're going to have the camo material that he picked, and on the other side we're going to have a tartan, a Gilmore tartan, for his name, his clan's name from Scotland. We want these guys to, to wear these shoes. Even though he, he said go crazy, we still want to keep it quite subtle. Um, so, so he'll wear it. When we spoke to Juan Pedro, he kind of gave us more of the LVs, the flashy colours. So we basically just kind of focused the design on the dye technique that we've been using, the patina dye, and that's done in a yellow colour that he asked. He picked this blue, where when it's put together, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be ve a very vibrant shoe. A bit more different textures on it as well. It's not just as flat white, so 
I think would be a very interesting shoe actually. Okay, so the shoes have been made and we're back in Brighton, ready to get the players' reaction. Let's go see what they think. Oh. I'm liking these. Got some of the ape inspiration that first purchase you got. We've got the camo material in there that you picked. Nice color for, for holidays, eh? Uh, we've got the blue in there. This leather here, it's, it's dyed, so like over time, it will start to get some like, wear into it. We worked that blue suede that you pick. And it also went with a kind of like off-white color. One of one. <laughs> Literally, one of one. 